We are going to clean my couch. It has been another three months and it needs a good deep cleaning. I like to do it every three to four months when I have time. I'm going to start by doing all of the cushions and then removing them, then doing the insides. We're going to do behind the couch and under the skirt area of the couch as well. And get this couch nice and cleaned up. If you are new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. I am a homemaker, a mom of two, and a wife of 21 years. And I do cooking and cleaning, and I work with five ingredients or less in Dollar Tree dinners, Dollar Tree hauls, and grocery hauls. Any of this interests you, please smash on my subscribe board, tap on that bell. And if you like me, spread the word about me by sharing me to social media to your favorite social sites. Let's get started. Hey everyone, to save y'all's ears, I removed the actual sound from the clip because the vacuum cleaner is very loud and it's a daunting task to clean your couch. And if you have kids, you should do this regularly. I'm usually the only one that sits out here. My children have their own room, so they don't usually come to the couch to watch TV. My youngest doesn't watch any TV just with her computer and my oldest doesn't watch much TV but has a TV in his, their room for video games. Um, my back is going to be turned to you here and there trying to get all the couch cushions. I'm going up and down and I'll, I'll each one of them and I do the backs and the sides and the zipper area. You shed like a pet and you want to get all that dandruff and up. We have a small pet, but it's a caged pet, and she does visit the couch occasionally. But she's so tiny, our gerbil, she can get lost on the couch. So you got to keep a real eye on her. And I'm going to do the back part, which I think is Velcro, and it can come off. So if you are ever to move the couch, it's easy to do. And I turn the light on because a big cloud came overhead. We're in a thunderstorm we'll watch until 8 p.m. tonight. Now we're gonna move the coffee table out of the way as I adjust the camera to make sure you can see everything. Now that the coffee table is out of the way, I can continue on with these cushions from where I left off. I'm sorry that my back is to you. I'm going to change my angles periodically so you don't think I am mooning you all. Ha ha ha. Let's get the back of the cushions, each one of them. And I do the zipper area too. And be very thorough. If you feel the couch has a slight odor, Dollar Tree carries a really great Febreze. And it's just as good as the Febreze without that price. And you get a huge bottle of it for a dollar twenty-five, and I think that's one of their great buys. I recently discovered their Carbone stain stick. Unfortunately, the stain on my one cushion is set in, and we didn't notice it until after the fact. And I'm a little devastated because we paid a pretty penny for the sofa from Bob's Furniture which I give them four stars for their couches. Their beds not so much, they turn into a brick of wood after a couple years and they're awful. But their couches are high quality, high style, and I give them four stars. Plus their delivery team were as sweet as can be, a really nice gentleman, it needed absolutely no assistance. They got in and out and we tipped them well when they delivered the couch seven months ago. Can you believe we've had the couch for two cleanings already? It's gone by fast from the actual video when it first arrived. I'm going to get all the nooks and crannies here because I eat on my sofa, usually on the opposite side when I'm watching TV. The TV is kitty corner. It'll prevent the glare from the sun. We have really old windows and crown molding here. And our curtains are hung in a really odd way because I cannot get a full-size curtain rod up there for a double window. I tried the broom handle trick from the Dollar Tree and it was a fail. The lady from Do It On A Dime was able to do it on a small window. If I had an actual house without 140-year-old crown molding, I may be able to do that hack. So 
don't be discouraged if you want to try the broom handle trick with the mop and broom holders to hang up your curtains go for it it just doesn't work in this old house back and forth until we are done I'm on the middle part this is very satisfying in an odd way I normally don't vacuum I hate it I always use the broom push you save a lot of money on electricity if you uh, sweep everything up rather than vacuum every single time plus that vacuum cleaner as you saw was very old style and heavy and I'm just not a big fan of it we do wash it every time we use it and so it's not collecting dust and getting filthy in the closet where we keep it you'll be hearing background noise occasionally my husband works from home and it is summertime and one of my kids is home and my oldest is at work there wasn't that much in the cushions and I'm very impressed and very thrilled about that I try to be as neat as I can when I eat on my couch I don't have an actual office in my home. It's a three bedroom apartment. One bedroom I cannot clean on camera because my husband works with sensitive information and I cannot film in there while he's working from six to four, Monday through Friday. So with that said, I use this TV nook for my office. I do all my planning and thinking and editing here. I'm gonna pull the couch out a little further and flip it up on the side get under the skirt on either end and behind it and get behind this on the back part of the couch as well I've been keeping this pretty pristine I do eat snacks on it and everybody sheds whether you're a fur baby or a human being and it's always good to keep things where you sit often clean and hygienic and this is gonna be a little tricky here Now that the couch is on its side, we're going to turn it back on. I'm going to get under the skirt area and do the entire flap of the skirt, front and back, and the inside of it. And I'll do all the pegs that are the feet of the couch as well, all the way down the end here. And do a really good thorough job. It's a nice velvety feel, microfiber cloth, the sofa from Bob's Furniture. I think we paid around $8.50 plus shipping and uh, delivery fees they were really great guys very kind I couldn't believe that they had no problems getting it up here with the old house and this narrow doorways and crown molding I was very impressed with them I'm gonna step out of your sight for a little bit and again I got rid of the horrible loud vacuum cleaning noise I do have my fan on in the background because we're in the middle of a heat wave. I'm going to be adjusting my meal planning board for the next 10 days because I'm going to be using only my air fryer and crock pot to cook dinners. I will not be turning on my oven or using my grill out back because it's just uh, too hot. And we're going to do a lot of sandwiches and maybe salads for our dinners, something light and airy and healthy. And when you cook with your crock pot and your air fryer, you're cooking healthy and eating better. And I always add vegetables to every one of our dinners. I don't usually eat a lot of vegetables with my lunches, but I have them with my dinners. And I have fruit usually in the morning with my breakfast, but not always. Now we're going to reposition the vacuum cleaner. And I'm singing in Def Leppard photograph because it's been in my head all day and Joe Elliott is my celebrity husband I have been a fan of him since I was 12 years old and I also love Luke Perry alrighty I'm gonna flip it the opposite way 
get the flap and behind it on that end. And it's looking pretty good. Careful with the surroundings. Got your sofa here. It's going to touch up a few areas. I'm touching up a few areas here that I missed. I'm vacuuming onto the left hand side underneath the skirt. And I'm going to go back and forth to make sure I got everything. And again, my back is to you once again. Very tough angles here. Going alongside, I'm going to do the feet. And get rid of all that dust. I'm bending down to get the bottom part of the couch. Then we're going to try to get the couch the opposite way so I can get behind it and get the back side and the back side skirt. I'm getting all the nooks and crannies of this sofa from uh, Bob's Furniture. Not a sponsor, but we love it. I do have a vacuum, I just don't always use it because the people downstairs, when I clean in the morning, I try to be uh, courteous. It has been a day, so it's a fair game. Let's see if I can get this out. My hubby is working. dust on here from my landlord working. It's a good time to get it off. Now we got the couch in the opposite way and we're going to continue vacuuming it to the outside of the little skirt here and then I'm going to flip up the skirt and do the inside do a really thorough job from top to bottom and I'll do the underneath the couch as well to get it all vacuumed up and disappear here and there for a second at least I'm not turning to the back of you because my back is facing my window now rather than the camera I try not to do that but sometimes can't be helped in the middle flap here I'm doing a very thorough job there's some dust on the top of upper right hand corner of the couch that you can see by the lamp and I'll get to that in a minute and the last part of the skirt on the back end here the vacuum cleaner is back here with me I'm making all that noise that you don't hear because I'm doing voiceovers to save y'all's ears and I decided not to put speed to the video today to get a good feel of deep cleaning your sofa and I hope I encourage you to deep clean yours as well especially if you have pets or kids you never know what you can find in there money, food, toys, phones, controllers hey, you never know I have to get WD-40 because our doors and cabinets are speaking rather loudly every time we open them so I know when my husband's coming out of the back bedroom for something in between his breaks at work so we're going to look into getting that and spray all the hinges I do spray them every three to four months so they must have worn out now I'm just doing the floor very lately back here I like to vacuum behind the couch every three to four months as 
I deep cleaned the couch and then I took the hose part to the baseboard. You should always do your baseboards, whatever you vacuum or sweep. I usually do the baseboards behind the couch every three to four months or behind any furniture or any ones that are visible. I clean them at least once or twice a week. I don't have time to do them every time I vacuum or sweep. Sorry, neighbor. <laughs> okay, how did these go? It's like a puzzle. I usually put the zippers in the front. Sometimes my back's turned to you and I apologize. A yellowish brown soap that may get this walk. Anyone knows the name of it, please comment. I'm going to pick some up. I think Walmart carries it. No cap or anything. Do it on diamond. Everybody's got it. Excuse me, Lon, I think once again. This goes into the middle. Clean it. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit more. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit so it's picture perfect for my preference. I noticed a couple of spots I missed. This is an old vacuum cleaner that my landlord gave to us, and I do use it seldomly. It's handy to have one to get cleaned up. Here. I'm just going to vacuum the floors. It's going to be an odd angle here. You're going to see me and see part of the vacuum cleaner. That's usually where I sweep during my cleaning videos, Mondays and Wednesdays, with Motivation Monday, and get it all done Wednesday. Now we're going to put everything back. into a different view and get the rest of the vacuuming done. I'm getting the rest of the vacuuming done on the opposite side of the rug here. I'm just seeing part of me in the vacuum. I'm going to do a little bit into the dining area and I took the hose off because it wouldn't pick up a couple of things and I'm just going to vacuum up some of the dust on the TV stand. That'll be done in my cleaning video on Monday for Motivation Monday. I'm only cleaning a couple times a week for the channel except for this couch video because it really needed to get done. I'm going to disappear for a moment because I want to get over by the table and chairs. And there I go. And we're just about done with the cleaning up of the couch. And I like to do the whole area when I do one part of it. Just so it's nice and clean for me to enjoy my family. That is it for this video. We deep cleaned the couch with my vacuum cleaner. And I did a full vacuum on the hardwood floor. So it's behind it. We're done. Before we go, when we get another 100 subscribers,
forever as we're halfway there. So 1,700, we're gonna try out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. You're not always gonna see all of me in these videos because of my phone. Just so you know, we are looking for eight people to give out one five items. Price back from the Dollar Tree guide at 625. The giveaway rules, if you're comment, you must comment if you're new and let me know who you are. Otherwise, I will not know who to call out. If you comment all the time, if you've won in the past 60 days, you have to wait out 60 days. Or if your name's been announced and you don't answer me within two days, you'll be disqualified. Those are the rules. We like to do giveaways to thank you for being a part of our community and family, as well as boost views and subscriptions. We're also going to be selling Let's Eat t-shirts at $14.99 plus shipping and handling. We'll be doing a reveal video soon when they arrive in the mail to show you what they look like. If you want to see a sneak peek, go to my Facebook page, like it, send me a message, and I'll send you a picture of the logo. Also, you can email me at countryboots1268 at yahoo.com with any questions about the giveaways or any issues or if you have an idea or you want to share a photo with me. Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate your ongoing support. Thank you for watching.